Berkeley Brook. May the force be with you. Today's principal's challenge is Star Wars themed. Today you're going to be building your very own droid and then race it. There's only three things you're going to need. You're going to need a container with an opening at the bottom, such as a cup, a paper cup, or even a plastic egg. The second thing you need is maybe a plastic ball or some even marbles or maybe even a bouncy ball. The third thing you need is just your imagination. So Julia and Connor are going to show you the droids that they created and then we can't wait to see the droids that you made. Make. Julia made... I made a dog themed droid that's named after R2-D2 but instead it's called Bark2-D2 because it's a dog. I used paper this kind of cup and when I race it later it's going to be um, made with marbles and then Connor made I made a droid like BB-8 or BB-9 his name is BB-01 I, I used paper this type of plastic cup and I just used an Easter egg and co and I just colored paper and some paper that was already colored. And, you and then I'm going to use some marbles to race it later. We're going to head upstairs to go to our racing stadium. And we're going to see, is Bark2D2 or BB01 going to win the race? We can't wait to see what your imagination lets you create. Bye, Barkley Brook! Millennium Falcon Stadium or the Barkley Brook Falcon Stadium. Julie and Connor are getting ready to race their droids. We have Bark 2D2 and BB01 ready to race. The cheering squad is in back voting for both of them. So who is going to win? Baby Yoda wants to know. So all we need to make a racing stadium are... We need a flat surface and something that can tilt your flat surface. We here used an Amazon box and just a stool to hold it. All right, are we ready to go? Yes, we yeah. are. All right, ready? Three, two, one, go. Bark 2, Bark 2. Woo, it looks like Bark 2, D2, 1. But we can do best of three. You guys want to do another race? Sure. sure. All right, here we are, ready for round two. I'm going to count backwards from three to see if Bark 2, D2 will win again or if BB01 can pull through. Are you ready? Three. Two, one, go! We're back at the Barkley Brook or Millennium Falcon Stadium. It seems like Bark 2D2 was beating BB01 each race, so we had some thoughts as to why that could be. Jules, what did we think? We thought that paper probably moves slower than the plastic does because the paper has much more friction, which slows it down as it um, glides on the cardboard box. And so, Connor, how did we decide that we were going to modify your design? Because engineers always modify their design to make them better, right? So what did we decide to do? We decided to just take his body part and just leave his head there to see if he would win now. So right now we have the plastic egg as his head that's going to race against Bark 2 D2. All right, let's count down from three. Three, two, one, go! All right, it seems like our theory might be true that plastic moves faster than paper. But now I wonder why only his head won. Hmm, that's a good question to think about. All right, guys, your principal's challenge is to create your own droid and then race it. We cannot wait to see. And if you want to send me pictures, if your parents want to email me pictures, I would love to see them. We can't see wait, wait to see what you guys come up with. Bye, Barkley Brook!